Just got in the Panda Lux set from Big Tree Tech. Let's get it installed and see how much brighter the inside of the X1 Carbon gets. Okay, first step is going to take off this top glass. If you have an AMS system sitting on top like I did, you're gonna have to take the AMS off the top as well. The next step is to attach the Panda Lux to the X1 Carbon using the magnets. And just like that, it's done. Now you wanna make sure that the cable is on this side of the printer. Once the Lux is attached, you'll wanna open up this door, exposing the board where the original light system is attached. You'll want to disconnect the current light and then using the tools that came with it, attach the new board that will power both the light and the Lux. Here is the extension board that comes with the Panda Lux, along with the extra cable. One end of this cable only fits into this type of connector, so you want to add that there. And then this other end, we're going to plug into the slot on the original board that the original LED plugs into. Now that you have the new board attached to the existing board, all you have to do is plug in the two lights in the slots in which they fit. Now that all the wires are plugged in, the old LED and the new one should be on. Next, you'll want to take the adhesive off the bottom of this board and attach it right here. Once you get the board in the right spot, you'll be able to close this door. Now, it's optional, but you can add some black tape that they include in the kit to cover up these wires if you so choose and they also give you some 3m strips to add to the light itself if you want some extra uh, strength but the magnets should be good enough according to the instructions so with that that is the panda lux set from big tree tech did you pick one up? Uh, do you have one on order? If you have one, what do you think of the kit and the light so far? Is it making a difference? Let's hope so.